What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So oil prices are skyrocketing, gas prices are soon going to follow, and we could expect $4 a gallon on average here in the United States. That is a huge, huge hit. Crude oil prices, they actually just hit a seven year high just the other day. Right now, they are currently, okay, look at this. They are currently trading at $87.25 per barrel. This is huge. And this was actually due to a recent attack on the United Arab Emirates. So I want to address what's going on here because this is extremely important. And the reason why this is really big news is mainly because the United Arab, uh, the United Arab Emirates, excuse me, they are the seventh largest oil producer in the world, okay? Right here at number seven, the seventh. They currently do, okay, over three million barrels of oil per day. The United States, we are currently ranked at number one with about 11 million barrels of oil per day. That is big, okay, that is big. Now, here's what you need to understand. And because things are not stopping, things are not stopping here. Energy analysts are actually saying and predicting that oil prices will continue to rise with the Russian incursion into Ukraine. And the reason this is such a big thing is because Russia, okay, let me pull this up. Russia is sitting right here at number two with almost 10 million barrels of oil per day. That is huge. That's big. And this is one of the reasons why uh, we're having such issues right now. And these are the reason why some of these moves are actually causing issues is because many are forecasting that the United States is going to see uh, triple digits in oil very soon. Like I said, we're currently trading at about what 80 what was it 80 some dollars, 87 dollars uh, earlier on today. And currently gas prices are sitting at three dollars and 31 cents. $3.31 per gallon. That is as of today. But experts predict that gas prices could easily reach $4 a gallon. Right now, let me show you this map. Hey, let me show you this map really quick. Right now, the West Coast is seeing the majority of the increase. That's where the highest uh, prices per gallon are. Then we're seeing here in the center of the United States, mainly down here in the South, that's where we're seeing the lowest prices per gallon. Okay. But things could change. Everything could start going up, but it is not just about the stuff that's happening overseas. That is actually impacting us here in the United States and impacting our oil and ultimately our gas prices. Everything is going to impact us. We're seeing major supply chain issues. This isn't something new. We've been addressing these supply chain issues since, you know, 2020, since the pandemic even started. But that's a big issue as well. We're also seeing worker shortages. Millions of people are quitting their jobs. We're seeing something called the great resignation, right? Where people are resigning to go find something else, something better, something that pays a little bit higher of a wage or provides more benefits. We're seeing inflation at 7% over the past year. And the expectation is that it's going to continue to increase over the next few months. That's not good news. We are already seeing record high prices on homes, food, right? Just different products, clothing, used cars and trucks. And in the United States, energy and gas prices are up almost 50% on the year. And this is actually going to cause millions of people extreme hardship. Here's why. Currently, 30 million families are without their child tax credit payments of 250 to $300 per month. People on social security are not getting the help that they are needing with their 5.9% cost of living adjustment. Just because they got a cost of living adjustment of 5.9%, inflation's at 7%, but with that cost of living adjustment, SNAP benefits, you know, Medicare, other things are costing more money or they got reduced benefits. So really they're upside down on the year. We also know students, they'll be able, they'll be uh, forced to pretty much pay back their student loans starting on May 1st. 
okay? And let's just talk about the Federal Reserve for a second. The Federal Reserve, right, they are going to have to figure out a way to lower inflation when all signs are pointing to inflation going up. This is not great news. This is not great news. So everything that's happening is actually going to cause the American people to struggle even more. Now, the White House, they say they're already looking into ways to reduce gas prices if they run once again. But they're also saying that their tools are going to be extremely limited. So here's what I want to show you. Okay, let me show you. Let me read you this. Tools continue to remain on the table for us to address prices. This is something the administration is continuing to watch and monitor very closely. Now, just because they are watching, just because they are monitoring this, does not mean they can do anything about it. And I wish I could tell you that, you know, don't worry about gas prices. Gas prices, they're not going to go up. The Biden administration, well, we should be able to take care of this. There's nothing to worry about. I wish I could tell you that. But unfortunately, this doesn't look transitory. Gas prices are likely to rise quicker than we saw back in 2021. That's a huge, huge problem. Millions of people, millions of Americans couldn't afford gas in 2021. They struggled to get to work, go to their, their appointments, go pick up medication, go and buy food, go and make it to the social security office in order to figure out do they qualify or where's my money. They just couldn't go because gas was too expensive. Now, let me ask you this. What are your thoughts on all this? First, do you think gas prices are going to hit $100 per barrel? And if you do, do you think that's going to happen in 2022? Or do you think the Biden administration will be able to come out and tackle the issues that we're going to see and do it in a way that it's not going to hurt the American people? What do you think is going to happen? Let me know down in the comment section below. Here's what I can tell you. I'm going to be looking into this. I will be looking into this very closely because if oil prices keep rising and they skyrocket the way they have, gas prices, they lag, but they follow. They follow very closely. So if oil prices skyrocket, gas prices are expected to skyrocket as well. So here's what I can tell you. If gas prices skyrocket, that means shipping costs are going to be more expensive. Hiring anybody to come do a task for you more expensive. If you want to go get food, it will be more expensive. If you want to go on vacation, more expensive. Everything will be more expensive in 2023 simply because of the issues that we are currently seeing. So here's what I can tell you. Number one thing you can do. First, figure out ways to eliminate the need to travel. And then, Figure out ways to invest into things that are going up. If gas prices are going up, right, we need to invest in oil. We need to invest in companies. We need to invest in some type of asset to help reduce what is happening with inflation. We won't be able to ride that up, okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you what to buy. I'm not going to tell you what companies to go and look into. I'm just here to tell you that if you want to somewhat uh, you know, kind of follow with inflation. You want to ride this wave. You have to own assets. This means stocks and real estate are going to be your best bet. So if you have any questions on any of this stuff, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.